Hello everyone. Uh, in the previous session, we had seen strong named assembly, and also we had seen what happen if we just delete the DLL that is hosted inside the exe, and also we had seen how a uh, .NET find exactly uh, where the assembly resides during the program execution. Uh, so what happens uh, when you delete uh, some file that is hosted inside some exe or some any some other uh, uh, component? Okay, in this session we'll see uh, the severe problem of .NET that is known as versioning, where uh, how these two versions get conflict with each other and what happened when this conflict happened. Okay, so basically this is uh, nothing but an exception manager of CLR. Uh, what exactly the CLR, you know, maintain or uh, what kind of exception manager it is. So how exactly this uh, versioning can be handled with the help of CLR, we'll see in this session. Okay, so I'm on Visual Studio and you can create one new project. So I'm creating on the language C Sharp. The console application gave a name. I'm giving, uh, let's say, test uh, versioning. Okay. And then in Solution Explorer, I have test versioning. This is your exe uh, file when you com uh, compile and execute. So I need one more that is my DLL. So I am making add new project from my solution and I am selecting my class library. So I am selecting my, I'm, 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 I'm giving a name that is my DLL. Okay, so I have my DLL that is dot DLL and the exe. Okay, so I'll write one simple code that we had seen from the uh, same line of code that we, had, we, had, we are doing from since uh, the assembly video. Okay, so right now I have class one dot cs, and I'm writing code that is public string method. So inside that we are returning. So this is return. Let's say this is from DLL. Okay, and then I get back to my program dot cs, and uh, th this is program dot cs, and I have to append this method, or I have to fetch this method to this C sharp okay but before that I need to uh, create or I need to generate my key that we had seen with the help of sn.exe you can generate your key pair that is public and private and I already have it in my C drive you can see this is your key my key.snk that we had generated okay so I'll use this key and I append that key in my assembly info.cs uh, so I am writing a single line of code that we had seen earlier. Assembly colon assembly key file, and then I just give a uh, I just give a path name. C colon path my key dot snk. Okay. So now uh, this DLL is not a weak uh, assembly. This is now strong name assembly, or you can say strong assembly. Uh, but you can see this test test versioning. This is your exe file. This is not uh, yet strong assembly, strong name assembly. It is weak name assembly. Uh, so now let's add this uh, DLL to my uh, C sharp project. So I go to reference and make a add reference and add my DLL. Okay, so I I had added this uh, DLL in my uh, reference folder and now I get back to program.cs and I just have to import that. DLL. So with the help of using, and uh, I have a name that is my DLL. And now I can use that method that we had seen in the class one dot cs file. So first of all, I'll create the object of my class object class uh, sorry new class. Okay, and then I just print my method that is console dot uh, write, and then ob dot method. Okay, and I just make a read key uh, for holding our output window. Okay, so this is ready, and you can actually run it. You can see this is from DLL coming from DLL. Okay, so now there is no problem at all, right? Uh, and now if I go to my solution, right click and open folders and Windows Explorer. So I have test version, this is my actual project. Go to here, bin, debug, and I copy my DLL. And test versioning, okay. And I paste it in the sample folder. 
Now I'll I'll use some uh, I'll use one tool that is known as ILDESM that is Intermediate Language Deassembler where you can see the MSIL code of exe and .dll uh, and you can also uh, you can also view the manifest that is resides under this exe and .dll. So let's open this uh, Windows and ILDESM. Okay, just drag and drop this uh, exe first of all. Okay, so in this, uh, you know, Aldism, there is two things, manifest and your project. Inside this project, you're having main method. So this main method is having nothing but your program.cs code. You can see the method and console.write. These are the main method, okay? Uh, so the main method code. Okay, now if I get back to this one, manifest, if I double click, and you can see this is the my dll it needs the my dll that is the uh, host uh, i mean a file that is needed by this exe and it needs a version version 1.0.0.0 okay so it needs this version and you can visit this my dll dot uh, dll you can drag and drop here and you can check his manifest and you can see uh, here it is on the version 1.0.0.0 okay so there is no problem versions are not mismatched it will work so I double click it will run no problem at all but now and you can also see this my DLL uh, my DLL is basically uh, it, 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 so this my DLL is nothing but a strong named assembly because uh, we had append this uh, key pair here you can see my key dot SNK so uh, this is strong name assembly but this test versioning it's it's a weak name assembly that we, that is how we defer it uh, okay so the thing is uh, uh, but let's say some some something happens some something like uh, some person comes up and he needs to or he wants to update this my dll and uh, by by updating this code somehow uh, and he because of this reason he updates the code he needs a new version so he 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 changed this version assembly version to somehow 1.0.0.0.0 to somehow 2.0.0.0 because he updated the code that's why he need a new version number let's say this is the somehow the uh, condition or situation right now uh, so he changed this 1.0.0.0 to 2.0.0.0 okay uh, so uh, we we just do that right now uh, okay so this is my assembly info.cs and I am uh, first of all I have to remove this my deal from the uh, exe file so I delete this uh, no 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 I don't actually don't need to uh, delete this because this my dll needs uh, 1.0.0 but now we are changing this okay so assembly info.cs is uh, we are opening assembly info.cs of this dll okay so I'm changing this 1.0.0 to 2.0.0.0 okay and uh, if I go to here and I just build this and it successfully build and if I go to specifically if I go to this my DLL open folders in Windows Explorer and if I go to bin debug and my DLL dot DLL I copy it and again I paste it inside this sample folder and I replace this file now the thing is if I open this ILDESM folder you can see this test version.exe if I drag and drop in manifest it needs a DLL this my DLL it needs a version of 1.0.0.0 but you see this my DLL dot DLL if I drag and drop here and if I go to this manifest and if I see it needs a version 2.0.0 okay so it is built with 2.0.0 uh, we, and we, had, we, we explicitly did that and you can see here it is version of 2.0.0 so now the thing is this is a versioning okay versioning problem this exe needs a DLL of version 1.0.0.0 but the DLL itself is on a version 2.0.0.0 so the thing is if I run this exe there would be a, a exception comes up and uh, error message will come up so if I double click you can see Unhandle exception system.io.file load exception could not load a file or assembly that is my DLL. Uh, so it is it needs a version 1.0.0. But the thing is our DLL is on 2.0.0. You can see. 
So this is basically a config of version and specifically it is known as versioning in .NET. So uh, this is specifically for a versioning and this the same thing happens when you update this code. Okay, so if you update this method somehow and if you go to program.cs and when you call this method there will be a problem okay and that is that we will see in our dll help problem but right now for the sake of this video we are only discussing the thing uh, that is versioning uh, so i thank you so much for listening me